Christmas was today. And so of course, because it's Christmas, I'm up at midnight trying to make baguettes. I'm gonna make a banh mi sandwich. I wanna show you this. That is what you call pork belly, okay? And it is, that's the skin, crispy as all get out. So I'm gonna be making some pickles tomorrow. I'm putting in some of this bread now. Uh, never made my own baguettes, but I'm gonna be making my own baguettes here. Just got the temp up. I'm gonna take these, give them a water bath, slash them, throw them in, and see what happens. So, I don't know, just wanna share this with you guys. I literally have spent all day like working on these, trying to do Christmas things on top of, you know, folding over dough and getting things ready to go. I clearly am not experienced. These need to be a little bit wider. I obviously want like a bigger piece so that I can make this into a sandwich. But from a, from a baguette standpoint, these are banging. I'm pretty excited about that. The ones that I've got over here are smaller. Um, so I am learning, but I can take the same recipe, which literally was water, yeast, and bread flour. <clears throat> it's all, to me, it's, it's less about what's being put into the bread and more about how the bread is being made. So it is a technique sort of thing. Alexa, how much time on the timer? You have 20 seconds left on your 13-minute timer. Alexa, turn the timer off. Let's get in here and let's see what we got. These I let go slightly longer. So, right. Cancel off. Oh. Get in here. These are way, way crispier. I'm also watching Baby Jet at the same time. <clears throat> Way crispier, love these. Get them up on the edge here. Oh, that burnt. So I get a little air underneath them. I'm gonna call that good. I'll let you know how they are tomorrow. Okay, so day two, uh, yesterday you saw, I took you through, it was late in the evening. I was trying to cook some baguettes for these banh mi sandwiches that I'm making. I've got my sauce here. I've got more dough proofing here because all I'm gonna do is fold that thing four times, probably about an hour and a half, four o'clock now. Should be pretty quick. I can cook those, I can make them the right size. <clears throat> the other thing that I was gonna say is that right now we're under a winter weather advisory. We're supposed to get eight to 11 inches of snow tonight. Personally, I love that supposed to get 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. That's, that is the perfect type of winter day, especially over winter break. Now, I'm supposed to take mother-in-law to the airport at 4.30 uh, tomorrow morning, but that's canceled. So, not gonna have to do that until the evening. So, we get to hunker down here, enjoy some nice winter weather. Tom and Hannah get into town. This evening, tomorrow, high at 22, we'll move them into the <clears throat> Okay, here we go, we got her. You wanna squeeze that together. All Fresh right. baked bread, a little bit of mayo. Tom, tell us what exactly everyone out there is missing. I don't know which end I'd say I'd go with, but- uh, uh, We're gonna go with uh, this end. All right, go. We'll give you a moment. Tom just got off the road, so we're rewarding his eight hours of driving today from the cross with a banh mi sandwich, which we have assembled over the last two days. Tom, what are you getting here? A little bit of crunch, a little bit of muscle crunch. The bread's really good. Um, the, the meat is uh, savory and 
pretty, pretty greasy, but I guess that's what you get from pork belly. Mm -hmm. The mayo is what sets it apart. Though. Really? And, and how would you, what do you say the mayo kind of like bonds everything together? It kind of balances like, it out. Really? Okay. So you get a little bit of heat. A little bit of spice. Okay. Let's, let's go second bite and see what we get. This one I want to ask, the pickled vegetables, what do you think? The pickled carrots are really good. The onions too. I'm a fan of the jalapenos though. The okay. jalapenos are my favorite part. We're gonna chop this in half. We're gonna let Molly try a little bit. Okay, so we've got, uh, we wrapped one up here for Kara. What do you think? It's massive. <laughs> Okay, so your dad has a background in the culinary arts. So you must be trained to appreciate good flavor. What do you uh, what do you take out of all of that? We got a little bit of the sauce, we got a little bit of the pickled carrots, onions, we've got the fresh garlands here along with the pork belly. First thoughts. A lot of acidity. It, you barely put any onions on it. Mmm, the carrots. Okay. Well you like it. Mm. Where does it rank? Top 10 sandwiches all time. Peanut butter being number one. <laughs> and jelly. Number two. Number two, all right. Mm. Got one other review here, Molly. How would you review the sandwich? Um, Very flavorful. The sauce was really good. The bread was really like perfect texture, soft inside. A little crusty outside, but not too much where it rips your mouth open. Um, was it weird with the mayo? No, the mayo was good. It added a creamy something to it and a little bit. Yes. I think it cut the heat a little bit from the... Jalapenos. Yeah. Cool. But the pickled veggies were in the sauce. Awesome. Well, there you go. That's a review. I've got one last thing to do, and that is to take this last sandwich that I've got and devour it. Two more left for good measure and plenty of pork belly for later on. Now, I will say this, so I just completed my first try of the sandwich. Wow. Um, probably don't have any words, but I would say this was worth every moment of the last two days. Lessons learned. This is so good, but I did burn this a little bit. These are necessary to brighten things up. So fresh, beautiful crunch, love the acidity. Star of the show, surprisingly, is mayo. You cannot get enough of this sauce. So, so good. Last thing I would recommend, fresh out of the oven, just the texture, the softness, the warmth, Oh, the crumb, so good. So, this sandwich, on a scale of one to 10, definitely 100. So I would recommend go out, check out Joshua Weissman's Bon Me sandwich. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I changed nothing, I just took two days to make it where he uses about eight seconds of cinematic magic to come to what we finally arrived at. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Blizzard is on tap next. That's supposed to be happening within the next 30 minutes. If we go outside and take a look. Snow everywhere. It is definitely a winter wonderland. We're looking at seven to 14 inches in the next eight hours. I could not ask for more. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year.